What is good, my fellow infinite expressions of the infinite universe existing within a physical human body? It is your boy Tangent, sending out some super duper ultra positive vibes <laughs> with today's segment, and welcome back to Awareness Academy. Now, today's segment is Doubt Destruction, and today's topic is Arguments Expanding on the episode of Cognitive Quest I, I did regarding this topic. So, excuse me. No matter what the argument, all arguments are rooted in some form of self-doubt. Otherwise, we wouldn't have the arguments at all. We would just accept our perspective and not force it upon anybody else, regardless if they understand it or not. We just understand that our perspective is our perspective, and we don't need to convince anybody the validity in our perspective for it to be valid. Even when people believe they are simply arguing to get their point across, it's rooted in self-doubt, some form of self-doubt. <clears throat> there are multiple ways to get your point across without raising your voice or being combative in your statements. If your perspective is something you truly believe in for a good reason, you won't need to force anyone to see things your way because you know they eventually will when they decide to let go of their bias towards what you're expressing due to the truth in your perspective. Because truth is power. In the same way we don't need to argue our perspectives, we don't need to argue against perspectives we don't agree with. We only argue against perspectives we don't agree with when ours aren't as grounded. When we have faith in our personal truths, we recognize the power in them. Therefore, we accept people believing what they choose to. The same goes for making excuses and being offended by the people attempting to empower us. Meaning, say you look at this video or similar videos and you've been like, well, how is that true? I don't believe in that. Where's the proof? Where's the facts, right? Because I understand that often we've been conditioned to believe that Positivity or the life we prefer or good things are too good to be true. So we require substantial amounts of proof or, you know, quote unquote factual evidence to believe a positive perspective. But ironically enough, you know, usually when we allow ourselves to think in that manner, if someone were to walk down the street and be like, hey, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> We'd be like, oh, I'm a piece of shit. Why? You know, <laughs> without any proof or without any explanation as to why they believe that about us, you know, often. I mean, I'm not saying that's you. I'm, I'm assuming that it's not you because you're a aware individual who is enjoying these videos. But I'm sure you understand that there are people within our reality that sometimes uh, operate in that manner. But you know, of course that, you know, it's important to understand that believing and, upset and accepting the negative things people say about us only makes our lives harder, you know. It's important to recognize when we have truly made a mistake and have done wrong, but if someone is guilt tripping us, then most likely we haven't done as wrong as they believe that we have done. Or if we have done wrong and they're still guilt tripping us, it's because they personally are unable to let go to their emotional attachment to that past experience. But that is another video that I will link in the description, past experiences, so that you can understand that topic further and how those situations come about. So where was I? <laughs> Uh, yeah. When we have faith in our personal truths, we recognize 
the power in them. Therefore, we accept people believing whatever they choose to because we know that, hey, if they choose not to believe what we are sharing with them, that's that's on them, so to speak, right? That's something that they are making the choice to do and they have every right to because they have free will. So it's not going to make their lives any easier, but if we understand what we are sharing is something we are sharing to help them improve their lives and they don't accept it, then they're lost, right? Eventually they may come around, of course, because, you know, nobody is, no, I, nobody in the planet is essentially stupid. You know, we have just been trained to think certain ways. You know, that is the only reason people accept quote unquote stupid or dumb ideas. You know, it makes sense to their perspective and that's something that we have to understand. And accept if we really do improve, um, if we really do plan, if we really do intend and plan on helping them improve their perspective and lives. So, the same goes for making excuses and being offended by the people attempting to empower us. The difference is there's no truth. In, in a belief that we, we are not worthy, just doubt that reinforces complacency. Because the only reason we accept that we may not be worthy of something is because we doubt that we can really achieve or obtain what we aim to obtain in life. It's not true, it's just something that we've bought into. That's why we need to release these doubts and negative perspectives by transforming them into positive perspectives, by looking within ourselves and within our hearts and becoming self-aware of the beliefs that drive and affect our decision-making. To live a life in alignment with our higher selves that allows us to express our true selves the aspect of ourselves, the core of ourselves beyond the persona, we must be open-minded towards empowerment more than we accept and reinforce our limitations. I think that's it, yeah. Pay attention. Yeah. So... Keep expanding your awareness, keep believing in yourself, and always remember, accept, and believe that you deserve happiness. Why? Because it originates from within, not externally. And if rude, disrespectful, and arrogant people can roam this planet being quote-unquote happy and, <laughs> you know, appear to be happy and bold in their perspective, then we must be bold in our positivity. So like, share, you know, share with your friends, share with your family, fellow like-minded infinite beings that you would like to uplift through this content and comment if you had any confusions about this topic after you first check the similar videos in the description because the similar videos are designed to Clear, clarify the topic further or clear up any confusions and also comment you know what you liked from this video how this video helps you in your in your journey your personal travels and your existence as an infinite being so peace out i will see you next episode